Hey there everyone, this is Life Freak. Welcome back to my playthrough of Veteranosity 2. Today we are going to continue the 13th floor, hopefully finishing it today. Light gems, shell ships, gives us access to the luck staff. Whole holes are giving us full tax, space husk, staghorn, pale round. Alright, buy weapons, luck staff, 79 attack, 5 luck, 10 TP. Good stat booster, we'll get rid of our 8 tech. Though I don't think that's too big of an issue for 6 more attack, 5 more luck, and 10 more TP. Let's take it. Alright, back on the 13th floor, let's go north, go through this shortcut, and explore the entire western half, and maybe even the northeastern half. Going over here, we're going to run into wolves more often on this side of the map than we are on the other. So, that's something to look forward to. Triple wolf sets can be particularly dangerous. Other than that, wolves should not be a problem. Uh, we should be able to cheese through the rest of this floor, and if not, well, I have no one to blame but myself. And I doubt that. So, let's just check this out. Journey through the forest, a faint squeal reaches your ears. Look around and spy an animal cub under attack from a forest monster. There's no reason or reward for rescuing the cub, but you feel compelled to act. Sure, or why not? You're rushing to protect the cub, being the moving monster and its prey, quickly understanding the cub escapes into the forest. The monster, however, is furious at losing its prey and will not let you go without a fight. Triple wolf set, I think. Oh, hey, speak of the devil, here he is. Ah, uh, triple wolf set, no big deal. This you know, send attacks everywhere, and you should be able to deal with this pretty easily. I don't think I need a war cry. An evil eye suicide should be able to make up for anything that gets left behind. I'd use wild shot, but I think ricochet would be a bit better of an option in this case. Although, I'll be a, a little bit costly. Just to finish this up. Evil Eye terrifies everything. Two terrified to move. They increase their strength. Ricochet is going to hit a few targets. Really did not hit enough for me to like it. <laughs> I wish it would hit a bit more, a few more times, but can't really complain. It did do a lot of damage to the ones it did hit. And this should be able to finish the other wolf off. Wolves do have quite a lot of health. And after a war cry or their attack buff, it is very easy to kill them with suicide because they have higher attack to kill themselves with. 187 damage on themselves, gotta suck. Uh, just go over here, this is a, you know, a small roundabout area. Nothing spectacular about it at all. But you know, you have to kind of acknowledge that it's here, otherwise you don't get to see that it exists. Over here is a doorway, and this I think leads to a small puzzle with some FOEs maybe, perhaps? Uh, my memory escapes me. This is still the most forgettable floor on the freaking game in the game. The game. It's just, uh, yep, this is FOE puzzle. Not really a puzzle though, as these FOEs I don't think are aggressive. They just move in a set a set path, so they're no big deal. Uh, we have the option of going through the doorway here or the doorway in the northern side. I'm pretty sure this is the one of progress, so I have been wrong many times before. This does is a little two by one. There's a little thing here. Yeah, it's just I'm pretty sure I could also safely face these and just kill them, but I think learning how to evade them would be smarter and give you guys a little bit more to work on. And as usual it is a good idea to walk on where the FOEs walk on so you know exactly where they're going all future times. This is the exit of this northern room. I'm going to dance around in here for a little bit and get these FOEs locations unmarked. Also, when these FOEs get uh, trapped behind each other, which they do sometimes, the one that one will stall. It's not that big of a deal to know that, but it, it's just one of the few things about the mechanics of this game is that an FOE is stalled by another FOE it would actually stop moving. Alright, now that all the tiles have been walked on, let's go to the northern exit and see what we can get. Wolf Sleipner set. Not difficult, I would think. I'm thinking as long as we do pretty much 
this, we should just be fine. Yep. No way that could have failed. At all. Okay, so just get a freebie red main and let's move on. Okay, we got a hallway. This could be promising or not. Looks like we're leading into more circles and crosses. Of the ice type, not of any other type. Yeah, ice crosses. Uh, it's, it's, okay. So we just draw in this cross. And it's all ice, and it leads somewhere, no doubt, and maybe leads nowhere. I'm pretty certain that this leads to a treasure chest, but once again, my memory has been starting to fail me. So, double snows are double clawbacks that nothing new, and you're just going to be in this fight for a long time, so fast forward. Ah, I got a few levels. Linda and Anna have leveled up. I think both of them to th either 30 or something like that. And is at 31, we are getting, what are we getting, care 3 and healer alternating, or what? No, we have cure, th I'm thinking we're working purely on cure 3 right now. Alright, no shame. Anything else? Yes, Anna is getting her second level in scavenge, which is amazing. Anything else? No, not really. Let's heal everyone up. And move out. Alright, so, as I said, we are going to investigate this dead end first, because I'm pretty certain that there's... Okay, so maybe there isn't anything here. At all. It, it could have just been, you know, completely pointless. That's okay. We're not too angered by something that is pointless. Let us just go up here and see if we can resolve through having something that isn't pointless, hopefully, maybe, perhaps, if we can only dream of, maybe, in the stars and the sky, maybe below, and maybe higher. Maybe. Just, you know, maybe. Come over here. Let's go... Sound a guard. Alright, hi, guard. The Labyrinth's corridors. Turns into spawns. Explorers must be pretty strong. This is one of the higher floors. I explored myself once, and I was here when they discovered the labyrinth, but I got wounded, so I quit. So n And now here I am. I'm off duty today, so I thought I'd come up here. You wonder what he's doing here, and whether you sh or not you should inquire about it. The guard blanches at the question, and mutters a reply. I really like liquor, especially the kind you make from lavender plants. His word put you in mind of the quest you accepted. You agree to collect ingredients for Cass. As you tell him about your quest, the guard perks up. You're here to look for the same stuff, so I'm not the only one. Okay, most of it you can get from fighting monsters in this stratum. Systems, you can only find those by chopping, and after he gives his advice, he moves on. Uh, not very helpful guard now, is he? But he does exist, so we'll just kind of slap him and say he was here and move on. This looks like this was actually the way of progress, as it's becoming less and less apparent that the other way would be the way of progress. Yeah, I am pretty certain this is the way of progress, but actually, yeah, I'm pretty sure this is the way of progress. Huh, dare I just, you know, make a jump? I'm probably gonna put a jump cut here and just go backwards just to make sure that wasn't exactly like a super dead end, or maybe there still is the way of progress, I don't know, let's... Let's go over there and find out. Another direction we haven't gone yet is this way. Let's see where this way goes. Alright. It just kind of merges with even more crosses, as though we haven't seen enough of those already. Where does this go, actually? Let, it, let us go and find out. I am pretty sure, at this point, that if this goes far enough, that the other door was isn't meant to go anywhere. At least, that is what I'm pretty- there's another route I haven't gone. I'm just looking at the map and I'm like, oh hey, I haven't been here, here, and here, and here, and here. Oh, yeah, yeah. Just so many dead ends here, and sometimes you just don't notice them until way too late. This is a straight-up dead end with a check on, on it. Alright, let us see what you got for me. Passing through the white forest, you find 
Bizarre blue fruits buried in the snow. The fruits are easy enough to pick up and eat. Would, would that be really wise? Let's try it. The fruits bizarre appearance. Delicious taste. You begin to gorge yourself on the fruits. Within minutes, the whole crop is gone. The entire party recovered 100 HP and 50 TP. That is absurdly useful because we are now right back <laughs> and fully recovered. That is a really nice recovery spot. Thank you, game. This is not- it's not typical of this game to be nice. But because this is a very good event, I'm gonna mark it. Just so you remember exactly what it is. Alright, back to the other dead end. Now, and of course, on the way, you just kinda have to run into a triple snow soul and a double huge crab set. I mean, it's completely and totally normal. So... That... 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 Let's just take care of all of these first. Send an evil eye anyways. Send a snipe here. That should take care of these. Probably would, uh, now I wish I'd used it on the left snow soul instead, but whatever. Then it finishes that one off, and the huge crabs are terrified. It's just beautiful. Everyone just starts sending attacks. You send a suicide on that one, that should kill it. I'm pretty sure they can kill themselves with suicide by themselves at full health. This is a good test. 110, 112, 111, yep, they can kill themselves just with their own suicide, with a suicide at full, from full health, so that's very nice. Jason, we're level 31. Let's see what we have to give him. Thinking on wild shot level, possibly, or, well, many shot max would just lower the cost, which is, as I said before, not too terribly interesting. Or I could start leveling up snipe a little bit more. Wild Shot is at... Uh, I do feel like Wild Shot would be the better choice because it is rather weak right now and I would like it to be a lot stronger. So let's start getting Wild Shot to higher levels. We can worry about Snipe a little later. Snipe does feel a little lackluster right now and mostly I'm just using it in case I need Jason to do something a little faster. Otherwise, Snipe isn't being too terribly useful at the moment. Uh, and having it being a little stronger would not, ha uh, would not hurt. Alright, here's the other door. This can't possibly be the way of progress because it, it's contained to this area unless that icy slip slide, slide actually somehow leads to progress. In which I can bite my tongue. Which I won't because biting to my tongue hurts, but, you know, just investigate this floor. Yeah, this looks like it might just be a treasure room and I walk directly in front of a FOE like I had no care in the world. Could have been fatal. Uh, let's just go up here. This just goes in a small semi. Oh, no, no, this leads to that ice path. I don't see any shortcuts here, so that must mean that this is a dead end. It's probably shaped in this fashion. We'll be over there and make. Uh, we'll have to go over there and make sure of that. But that's what I think it is, and we can't get back because the FOE is now blocking the passageway. Let's go over here. We'll know where that FOE is going at least for a little while. Uh, let's see what's up in this corner. Okay, we have a doorway. Let's investigate where this doorway could possibly lead. Oops, mapping it wrong. Okay. This leads to a 3x3 room with a take point in it. Thank you, game. I'll just take that and map this in. Very nice. Just random take point. Can't possibly go wrong with that. I believe the chop point was down here. Nope, this, that's also a take point. I'm just being a little dull and forgetting that this is the 13th floor and not the 14th one. Alright, let's go north, northward and see if there's anything else for us. This set, again, sure. I think that set's a little bit too common, but, you know, it just takes forever to do that fight, so... I regret nothing. I somehow got myself disoriented in this place. That's kind of embarrassing. Let's go up here and figure out what's over here. The doorway! Sure. Let's see where this doorway leads. A treasure room. Oh, this wasn't a complete waste of time then. Let's just fill this in. Get a stab jar. That's nice. Fill the rest of this in. Is there a shortcut to the northern half of this, or is that, uh, or can I get from to there from here? Or, 
actually, what I think is actually up there, because I remember this, is that we will be maybe back later. Hmm. I think, yeah, I think I remember we're going to be in the northern side of this floor, uh, the very northern side of this floor a lot later. For now, we're just kind of stuck around here. So let's, I'm going to go detour for a long ways. I'm going to try to make it back to this room and see if there was actually anything in it. Be with you in that in a second. Wolf Double Mariana set. This is, uh, this is kind of a challenge. And again, we kind of need a, a little bit of a challenge. Let's go Viper down the center, Tornado down the center, send an Evil Eye out as a just in case, send a Volt Shot towards one of the Marianas, this could not possibly go wrong. Evil Eye was shut down because of the head bind. Wasn't too necessary, thankfully, so that's not a big deal. Got all this stuff, continuing on. It would be slightly faster and more fun to check if there's actually anything in there as if we just kind of slid by and looked as we go. And there is... It didn't look like there was anything in there. In fact, there wasn't anything in there. There could possibly be an event in there, in which I would want to be notified about. But if anything's in there, I'm sure somebody will let me know. That was just a good quick way to check if there's a treasure chest in there. There could possibly be a, an event in there that could be beneficial or maybe not very beneficial. But anyways, I'm gonna try to get back to the room in C2, C3. Okay, triple snow soul plus wolf set. There's a lot of big variety of sets around here. Viper down. Well, Viper is going to kill whatever it hits, actually, now that I remember that. Uh, Viper is going to kill on hit, so just do that. Send a tornado here instead, evil eye. And a fire shot should do us a lot of good. I'm pretty sure the wolves are also weak to fire. If not, it's worthy of a check. I'm pretty sure that means it's weak to fire. Uh, it's... Attacks on this one, and a suicide on the other one. Yeah, that wasn't too big of a problem at all, as per usual. Right, we Volgandra leveled, and we have returned back to this room. Let's get quickly get Gandra's level in order. What are you working on? I'm pretty sure we are working on All Slash. The strength up is actually now looking like a more viable option than All Slash is, but I think going with All, we're gonna go ahead and just stick with uh, pumping up All Slash, uh, regardless of how much I think it's not exactly an, un an awesome skill. It is a good skill, it's just not a great skill. Like Tornado, Tornado is a great skill. Brawn is an even better skill for axes, but not using axes because I I do prefer uh, I do prefer spread out hits. Even though I did not prefer them in Atronos E3, I do prefer them in this game as it does make managing the enemies slightly easier, as I can send less powerful shots one way and more powerful shots another one, another way. All right, so we got another one of these flying fleas. Oh, okay, we're in a room with uh, snow shaped in an X. I think I should have caught on to that earlier. Alright, so that path is un untreadable. So I can hot shot him where there where he's completely useless. Walk around, uh, walk on the spot of which he spawned, if that is possible. Uh, and, you know, just move on with our lives. So let's just go over here. We got a door, which is... Obviously, like all doors, it's an exit. He has no longer halted, so we have to use Halt Shot again. Step on this space. We will now know what, which direction he's facing at all times. Ever in case we ever come back to this area. We can uncover this treasure chest, which contains a Finbo, which is completely and totally useless. So we will s sell it to the local vendor for, you know... A little bit of a sum. What happened to- Oh, yeah, the treasure chest was blocking his way. I was about to say, what happened to your horizontal preference, guy? Um, he still has a horizontal preference, so this should, get, this should get him off our case. And... Go here. 
Alright, treasure on the other side of this. Oh, we've already gotten that. Derp, 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 derp. Let's go over here. It should be able to unlock the shortcut. What I want to get is the geomagnetic pole, if at all possible. Uh, let's go and, yeah, let's just take care of this. It won't take too long. One step at a time, we just go forward. I am s No, yeah, this would still be a very much shorter path than the other way, so... And all in all, this actually is a shortcut. I was about to call it a phony, sh uh, phony shortcut. How dare I? Uh, it's double wolf, huge crab set. I, well, one thing I know which will absolutely work is if I attack with everyone except Anna and swing a volt shot the huge crab's way, it will die and give its conditional, so let us just take care of that just so we can get a freebie conditional and get these wolves terrified. One of them used Evil Cry, that's the one that's gonna die next turn. Kill Claw has spawned, so everyone needs to kill this wolf in about 10 seconds. Would be nice. Uh, Seen suicide over there, and go ahead. Well, you were running low on TP. Let's have a uh, Gandra send a tornado over here instead. As to do a little bit more damage to that wolf, so it can hopefully die at a faster pace. Very nice. And Eric grows to level 35, as though he needs more levels. But I do believe this is his first level in bait. Which is good news. Bait and magic bait are both extremely useful attacks in my opinion. I really do like them. I do like the damage they do. We might have to rest them off once we reach the end game. But for the main game, I find bait and magic bait to be very useful. So let's grab them and look around and stop and get this kill claw away. Just have to move to make him disappear. Or you can run into him if you want to fight him. Either or. You, uh, either way, you, you just have to find a way to evade him. Let's just quickly slap that here, grab this. Very nice, we unlocked a major shortcut for this floor. Let's see. I believe now we have two choices on ice paths to go down, uh, to slide down. Or actually quite a few choices to, on which way we have to go, so let's... Start by going down here and see where this slide will take me. Uh, let's see, the ice is doing this. As so, as such, we can access it from the southern middle of it. Go down here, we're back in this area. Which is familiar, but we haven't actually been here yet. Gets us, actually I believe this is really close to the exit. Uh, let's Actually pencil that in, slide across here, uh, see what awaits us over here. I know this is not the exit, but hopefully this will be some sort of treasure of some kind. Or it could just, you know, be a complete and total dead end. Okay, well, naturally the labyrinth's gonna have dead ends. Let's go over to the other side and see if we can get anything from there. Seen already, just got another hole hole from it. You know, just a little bit of pocket change go and no no we're trying to use cure here all right now which okay now going down this way all right we're in a slightly different area in order to reach the exit we need to reach this uh the caddy corner of this so let us slide some more and more and stuff let's i'm gonna map a little bit in advance hang on a sec all right, that is as much as I can get from uh, from where I stand. Let's move over this way. All right, looks like we're in the same ceiling type area. I believe it's connected by just a long, just a small, little, uh, similarly long passageway. All right, simple enough. It looks like if I go on here, that this is also a seamless passage passageway, except all of this is ice, or maybe it's not all ice. Uh, no way to tell from here, actually, but I think we'll see in a little bit. Wolf Claw Bug set. Uh, it's... Okay, sure. Uh, let's go attack that Viper over there. That should kill that one. Tornado here. 
Evil Eye and Snipe, that should kill the middle one. If not, well, we'll come close. Uh-huh. Alright. And then it's just typical Clawbug Madness. Oh, wait, except I don't have time to do typical Clawbug Madness because a stupid thing has spawned. <sighs> and we don't have an all-out prime. Uh, suicide and bolt shot. Alright. Ah, phew. sure, we'll get a preemptive on it, but... Alright, we bailed. Alright, well, I'm not going to show the footage in which I fought the, the claws, because it's mm, kind of long-winded. And it was completely pointless, because all it did was actually take TP away from me. Which doesn't make me happy. Well, first of all, I want to know exactly how long this passageway is. It's just three spaces. Alright, so got that mapped. Now let's figure out which way... Yeah, this is, ha this is the exit. This has to be the exit. Yeah, because the exit's right there. Alright, looking at the map, there is a suspicious right side over here that has gone pretty much unevaluated, and I think the entrance was up here, but I completely, uh, uh, up here while I'm waving this pit. I'm thinking it's right there. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna investigate that later. Let's go up here, 14th floor. There's no, there's no coal on this floor. Which is distressing. Alright, but though there are no stairs, uh, let us just warp wire out of here, and I think I'm just going to call it a day. We got a lot more stuff this time. As you, uh, as we level up scavenge, we're gonna be destined to get a lot more stuff. So next time, we are going to do that final of the 13th floor quest. We're gonna investigate this little, uh, this little ditch, and then we'll see you guys next time. Later.